I can't hear. Okay, so so unfortunately, Mauricio, sorry, I've had to block Mauricio because I I can't hear. Is uh, my, my sorry, guys, I see closed. Luca is back. For Welcome, now, Luca. I, I, I can't hear. No, it's close. It's close. And we also have uh, Christian. Hello, Christian. Christian, I can't hear you. Are you on mute? I can't hear. No, it's close. It's close. Okay, and so I guess have, we can't hear uh, Christian. <laughs> can everyone hear me? Yes, I can. Okay, great. So I know Jose can hear me. Uh, Luca can hear me. Meow can hear me. Miguel can hear me. Rodrigo, how are you? Is it better? Much better. Okay. I'm fine, thank you. All right, how about I'm, you? I'm very well, thank you. Where are you from? I'm from Peru. Ah, Peru. That's in yeah. Europe. South America. Right? No, I'm just teasing you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I know it's in South America, as is Brazil, and Daniela is joining us from Brazil. Argentina is in Brazil as well. I don't know if we have anybody from Argentina tonight. <laughs> Uh, Daniela, if you are you hearing a lot of feedback? No, I'm not. Okay, good, good. All right, guys, let's see. We almost have a full class. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We do have a full class. This week, I have been focusing are you hearing on a lot of feedback? work, Four, five, interviews, six, seven, eight, nine, we and... Do have a job searching that is my theme for this week Daniela Me? yes you've been in my last class what did we do in my last class we practiced, uh, a little bit about job interviews we did I'm wondering if we might do that again this class. Would you guys like to do some role playing? Do you guys know what I mean when I say role playing? Acting, right? Yes, very good, acting. So, what I would do is come up with some questions and I want to take turns asking you guys the interviewee questions to see if you might be able to be qualified for this job but I'm wondering what kind of job would be a good job Daniela something different I want to take turns asking you guys the interviewee who is it coming from questions to see if you might be able to be qualified we, yeah, we were having a, a, a five-second echo from Mauricio. I think he has the lobby window open, but I'm not sure that he understands, so I had to block him because I couldn't hear myself. Okay, so um, we can be a, a clown applying for a job in the circus. A clown, okay. The job position... A clown. All right. So, job right. position. What does job position mean, Luca? A job position uh, is the job the one is aiming to get. I didn't catch that last word. Could you type that last word, please? All right. Uh... And guys, this is a beginner class, so I will talk slower. I'll also do a lot more typing. If there is any word that you don't understand that I use or anybody else uses, please use the type or the chat area. Let me just share my screen. I want to show you what it looks like. So here we have chat. Don't use that one. Please use this. That allows us to talk to people who are just in the hangout in the classroom or everybody in the lobby. So if you could use that, 
ask me questions, type them, whatever you like. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with Daniela. So Daniela, what brings you to um, Cirque du Soleil today? <laughs> oh, it's difficult to say, uh, but I'm uh, an artist. I am. Um, I study it. I have experience like a clown, clown, in other circles, and I think I'm the perfect person for for this job position. You think you're the perfect person for the job, and Daniela, I would also ask too if you could do type a little bit too, so those who are very new to English they can see also by typing what we're talking about as well. The problem is again the Colingo shed is not working for me. It is not working for you. No, I don't know if it's only with me. Okay, well I'll do my best to type as well then. For those of you in the lobby, um, I don't speak Spanish or Portuguese. I can help you with English. So if you have any questions and I see a lot of chat, I'll try to follow as best I can. So Daniela, you're you want to be a clown working at Cirque du Soleil. Yeah. How much experience do you have? I have experience in this profession for no, I've been I have worked. I have worked as a clown for ten years. Ten years. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Where have you worked? In big companies around the world, especially oh. in Brazil. In Brazil, I see. Excellent. Um, so as a clown, what salary are you looking for? Oh, you know, I have a lot of experience and I worked in big circus around the world so I think um, uh, I deserve uh, a good salary um, maybe <laughs> ten ten thousand dollars per month ten thousand dollars let me just type this out here per month yeah you said maybe, so you're not sure you're worth $10,000 a month? It, actually, I don't know uh, how much Cirque du Soleil usually pays for clowns. This is the reason I said maybe, because you can negotiate. Okay, well, salary. That you're, I think you're starting a little high. Our budget is $10 a day. Oh. <laughs> Okay. A day. Now, just uh, let me just interrupt there. What does budget mean, class? Anybody in the lobby or the class? What does budget mean? Anybody? What does budget mean? Oh, I'm sorry. I've still got you on screen. Sh got me on screen share. What does budget mean? Is the money that you will use in the month? Okay, money that I'll use in the month. I also see from a couple of students in the lobby, target payment or limited pay. Target is a good way of looking at it. Budget is how much money you have set aside. It's how much money you have set aside. Okay. Now, a $10 word or a lot bigger word for this is how much money we have allocated. Okay, so if we were in accounting, we might say allocated. Okay, so Daniela, you may continue. I've offered you $10 a day. A day, okay. Yeah. And what about, so $20 a day? Okay, I could do $20 a day and I'll also throw in all the clown paint 
and floppy shoes you need. Floppy shoes? Ah, yes, yeah. our clowns wear floppy shoes. Mm -hmm. How how do you feel about that? Oh, it, it's better. The offer is better now. Well, thank you very much, Danielle, for showing up. I'll let you know. I've got your phone number and your email address. We'll be in touch shortly. Thank you so much oh, for coming thank in Thank you today. for considering my resume. Thanks. Excellent. Who would like to be next? Who wants to be the interviewee? If I don't get any volunteers, I'll volunteer somebody. Luca is a volunteer. Okay, right? Luca. <laughs> but, oh. but no clown this time. <laughs> what job should he apply for? Um, what job should I apply for or who? Uh, no, you don't get to pick because you've been you're the interviewee. I want the class to pick the job you're gonna apply for. All right. Think of something silly, guys. <laughs> Lion trainer. Jose, very good. Okay. Um, Luca, thank you so much for showing up at the zoo today. Um, I understand that you're applying for the job of oh, where is it? Where is it? Oh yes, here's your resume. I have it right here. You want to be a lion trainer with us. Yeah. <laughs> well, how long have you worked as a lion trainer, Luca? Well, I've been working as a lion trainer like oh, five years in other circus. Another well-known circus like the Russian circus of Moscow. And yeah. So I think I'm qualified to work with the Circus Soleil. Okay. Well, what do you know about our company? Well, I heard uh, on internet, on TV, I heard about the Circus. So I wanted to, I wanted to be part of of of, of this Circus. Um, okay, that's great. Well. We are a very large multinational company that tours the world. We're in Vegas every day. We have three shows every day. What makes you think you're qualified to work as a lion trainer for our company? Because, um, <clears throat> because in the circus I worked before, I used to have the same kind of work with the same uh, uh, the I know to work under pressure, so I think I can manage uh, to work with daily in Las Vegas or, or in any big city. Well, the ability to work under pressure is very important because you'll be expected to put your head in the mouth of a lion. <laughs> All right, yeah. Have you done this before? Of course, it's part of my work. Excellent. <laughs> Have you had any mistakes? No, that's why I'm here alive. <laughs> Thank you very much. And Luca, I just have one more question for you before you go. Do you value recognition or pay more? I am an artist, so I value more recognition. Okay, so if we were to just say that's a great job every day and provide you free room and board, is that sufficient pay? No, really. <laughs> <laughs> no. Good answer. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, thank you very much, Luca. Um, we're going to be performing interviews the rest of the week. Uh, somebody will be in touch with you early next week. Uh, thank you very much for coming in today. All right, thank you. All right. Who would like to be next? Rodrigo wants to be next. I saw him put his hand up. <laughs> All right. What position 
or job should I interview Rodrigo for? Lion Trainer was an excellent thought. Jackler. What else? Juggler. Juggler. Okay. Juggler it is. What is a juggler? Okay. What is a juggler? Good question. Could you write it? Yeah, okay. Juggler. Juggler. It is what's, the one. What's the meaning of juggler? Mm. Okay. okay. <laughs> 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 I got it, okay. <laughs> okay, I'm not very good. <laughs> and this is why I am hiring today to find a juggler who can juggle dogs, cats, and other small furry creatures. Okay. Okay, so first of all, Rodrigo, Thank you so much for coming in today to uh, Sao Paulo's ninth circus tour. We are looking for a juggler. Have you worked as a juggler before? Uh, no, actually I haven't worked as a juggler, but I'm very good with furry animals. You are very good with animals? Yeah. Have you ever had an animal fall on you before? Yeah, actually, I had uh, an elephant following me once. Wow. Could you tell me about that experience, please? It wasn't pleasant. I, can tell you. <laughs> I got a few, a few broken bones, but now I'm, I'm, I'm okay. Okay. Um, what did you learn from that experience? That elephants are very heavy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, that's great. Uh, Rodrigo, you should be a comedian. All right. Um, so that's great that you've learned from past mistakes and this job, <laughs> thankfully, you're only going to be juggling small furry creatures, so Same there's up. no risk to your health, although um, they do have sharp claws. So let me ask you, what skills do you bring to the table? Oh, I'm a very coordinated person. Oh, that's very good. Excellent. And one mm. last question, Rodrigo. What is your biggest, or what are your weaknesses? My weaknesses, elephants. <laughs> 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 that's, that's something I can just just can see. I'm afraid of them. All right. Well, if an elephant <laughs> fell on me, I'd be afraid of them too. Thank you very much for coming in today, Rodrigo. No problem. All right. Well, that was awesome. I didn't think a juggler position could be so much fun. Who has not been interviewed yet? Me. As me too. Who said uh, me? Me. I'm Nurul. I'm Nurul here. Oh, neurals. There we go. Okay. I, all I see mm -hmm. is black, and I didn't see any green <laughs> underneath. All right, okay. so we'll go with you next. Now, mm -hmm. we need another position from the class. I'm looking for a strange job. Oh. What could we, what could neural... Ooh, I, I know one. Holy dancer. No, let's go stranger. Let's go stranger. Think different. Uh -huh. Instead of circus this time, let's think of some other jobs. Give me a good job, please. <laughs> okay, let me think. Huh. Spy? Yes. Yeah, oh. a spy. For which country? Oh. Spy is good. <laughs> okay. Um, so you want to start the interview, right? Okay, I'll get started shortly. Here we go. So. Uh, and let me make sure I say your name correctly. Neural? Yeah, you're right. Neural, thank you so mm -hmm. much for coming into MI6 today. Mm -hmm. um, I'm sure all of you have heard the dreadful news that James Bond was killed filming <laughs> in his last movie. So we need a new spy agent for British MI6 intelligence. Okay. Um, have you worked as a spy before? I have about five years experience as a spy 
in uh, in Singapore as a private spy in one of the companies. Okay, in a private company. So, did you yeah. work for the government? Um, no, I'm working as a private um, spy. Okay, mm -hmm. that's great. So, what differentiates you, Nero, from your competition? Mm, okay, there's ones I have to do some investigation regarding of uh, most of the cases is about the couples. Okay, and where is I have to do some uh, to be a spy uh, um, to uh, the post. A marriage couple to us to look at for her husband oh. and yeah follow well neural this is that sounds like domestic intelligence you're going to be working international intelligence uh, working for British MI6 you'll be spying on countries such as Canada the United States Brazil and China I know that some of these are our allies, but we must know what they're thinking. Are the Canadians coming out with a brand new maple syrup? We need to know. Are the Americans, what are they up to? What in your domestic spying has prepared you to work on the international level? Hello, Neural, are you still there? I think we just, yet yeah, we just lost her. Unfortunately, unfortunately, since she has left the interview prematurely, we cannot consider her for the position at this point. Oh. <laughs> However, the position is still available. We still have one more position in the class. We have two more positions in the class. Who would like to apply for the position of MI6 double agent, double O agent? Miguel? Hello, Miguel? <coughs> I wonder if we're having any connection problems. Miguel, can you hear me? Okay. So uh, just let's do a check, guys. Jose, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Daniela, can you hear me? Mm -hmm. Yes, I can. And Rodrigo? Yep. Okay. Uh, Christian, can you hear me? Yes, it's clear. Okay, good. Uh, by the way, anybody who's in the lobby right now, we have plenty of spots open. We just lost a few students. Let's see who's coming back. Oh, Neural just Neural came back. She's back. She's back. Hello, Neural? Uh, yeah, I'm back. Um, I'm normally, so we, we consider it uh, rude to leave an interview halfway through. <laughs> <laughs> However, <laughs> we're willing to make an exception in this case. Uh -huh. Yeah, okay. Um, okay. Normally, we we can. Um, so, could you describe a time when you failed at something in your previous line of work, and how you bounced back, and how that prepares you for this line wow. of work? Okay. Uh, but uh, I can see that most of my work is successful, and it's been solved uh, in a uh, wonderful way. And there is a one experience that um, I've tried to solve the problem as uh, as much intelligent as I can, but it's been solved. So far, is everything has been well. Very good. Well, I just have one more question. Mm -hmm. Being a top secret double O agent working for British MI6, tell me about your ability to work under pressure. Yeah, I'm prepared for the tough work, and because uh, partly I'm really uh, enjoying doing this job for five years. And I wish to have more challenging with all my experience, and that's the reason I 
accept, and I wanted to take this challenge. All right. Well, thank you very much, Neural, for joining us today at British yeah, MI6. Thank you so much. We are going to be doing more interviews. I can't tell you when or where because it's top secret. Yeah. We will let you know, or maybe we won't at some point in the near future, or we won't. Again, that's top secret. Yeah. But thank you very much for showing up. Okay, thank you so much. All right. Very well, that's great. We, I've got another position coming up. And let's see, um, Christian hasn't gone yet. So, Christian, you're up next. Okay. Now, the position. What kind of position could we do this time? What job would you want to apply for? Um, oh, I've got it. So, um, we represent a rock band. A rock band. The Rolling Stones. <laughs> Unfortunately, Mick Jagger has gotten sick. Uh, he's in a long recovery, and he can't make us. Uh, he can't join us on the Brazilian tour. So, we're looking for a lead singer to replace him in the Rolling Stones, and. <laughs> I want to thank you for showing up today. Uh, first of all, do you have any questions for me? No, any question, go ahead. Okay. Well, um, let me ask you, um, what motivates you to work in this field? Okay, what motivates me? Uh, singing, music's my passion. Okay, well, if that's the case then, how do you stay up to date in the industry? How do you stay current? How do you stay uh, up to date with industry? Uh, could you, could you <laughs> explain sure. me this? Please? So if, if I say, how do you stay current? or up to date let me first define what does current mean <clears throat> okay current means essentially belonging to the present okay staying modern yes rolling stones have been around for 50 years but we've stayed current. How can you help us stay current? Uh, uh, I feel it's a challenge, but I I'm ready for this. I'm I'm ready. Okay, that's great. Um, what level of pay do you expect to get from this job? I. Oh, hold on. Yeah. I, just... I, 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 th I think we're having a connection problem there. I didn't hear your answer. I think what he said is a million dollars. Is that correct? Mm, I think a million and a half could be a good. A million and a half. Well, you know what? Hey. If you can replace Mick Jagger, Christian. It, the job is yours. All I need you to do is to sing the first 10 seconds of one of his songs. Could you do that for us? <laughs> <laughs> the problem is I don't remember now the song. I need a, a paper. I need a, the, the lyrics. Okay, hold on. Let me find that for you. <laughs> hey, let's do that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Uh, let's see, which one should I do? Um, uh, around and Around, Empty Heart. Name me a song, guys. Which one should he sing? Sex to spa sex Station. Space Station? No, Sex Faction. Satisfaction. Oh, sex Satisfaction, faction. of course. Satisfaction, yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. There we go. If you can sing those lines satisfactory, the job is yours at 1.5 million. And we'll give you a bonus of 1 million 
if you can stay sober for the whole tour. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I'll try my own melody, okay? Okay. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> okay. I can't get no satisfaction. Can't get no satisfaction. Cause I tried and tried and tried and tried. I can't get no. I can't get no. When I'm driving in my car and that man comes on the radio and he's telling me more and more about some unless information supposed to fire my imagination. Great hey. job! Great job! <laughs> you have the job! I've never heard! Yeah. Congratulations! <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> that was bad! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, see, Daniela, it could have been your job if you were willing to sing. <laughs> no, no, please. After uh, Christian, after Christian, his name, yeah. After yeah. Christian, I can't sing any song because oh, <laughs> he is the best. Now, <laughs> I, I see Cristobal has joined us. He he also wanted to get a job here. Unfortunately, the role of rock singer, rock star, has been taken. <clears throat> But we do have one more job available. My name is Faustauer. I have a balloon. And last week I was going to ride in this balloon up to 150,000 feet up. And I was going to jump out in a parachute and break the world record. Unfortunately, I broke my leg. Cristobal, would you be interested in applying for this job? Oh, I don't think we hear you. Is your mic on? We're not hearing you. Um, can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you now. Um, honestly, this is a scary job, actually. <laughs> Yes, it is a scary job. I broke my leg and I only fell down a couple of stairs. <laughs> I can do that. Now, we're going to take you in a nice balloon. It's, it's nice. It's brand new. It's see-through, so you can see the stars that you're going up towards. Okay. You'll get a space suit because the air is very thin and a very, very nice parachute with Pepsi written on the back because they're sponsoring us. Okay. So... Yeah. What I would like to ask you is, what experiences have you had that prepare you for this job? I don't have experience in that job, but I, but if I have some training about the about your 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 open your position your open position, I can do that as okay. soon as possible. Well, let me give you an example of what you will do. You'll come in Monday morning if you get the job. You'll put on a spacesuit, and then a guy will walk you out to the balloon. You'll get in the balloon. We'll cut the rope. The balloon will go up. And then when the balloon hits 150,000 feet, it'll pop. Then all you have to do is fall down. <laughs> And when the when the ground looks really big, pull your parachute. If you don't do that, you go splat. Okay. Uh, you don't have to take pictures because we're going to put cameras all over your body so that way we can see what's happening. So all you have to do is just, you know, pull that one cord when you get close to the ground. Okay. All right. So let me ask you, um, what is your biggest weakness? I don't know what does that mean, weakness, professor. Okay. So a weakness, well, I hate to define it. I always like to give you guys a chance to answer first. And I'm going to pick on Daniela. What does weakness mean? It's something you, you don't know or... It's difficult to... Uh, 
to do for you? Yeah, so some might say if you're weak at something, you're not strong. Okay. Oh, okay. Thank so you. So, for example, um, if you don't have a skill, like an ability, an ability, yes, something you are not good at, that you okay. should be good at, if you're a skydiving, for example. Okay. Like, for example, if you were scared of heights, probably not the job for you. Right. If you don't like to go fast. Probably not the job for you. Um, I don't. I don't scare the altitude, and I want to. I like to going too fast. Okay. Uh, but I think uh, the position is. Um, I think this, this is new for me, uh, because I ne I don't try uh, like that. But I have a position. Uh, I have an experience, and like a climbing mountains and a very high very high altitude and I think that is a, a good thing to to me to do this job okay um, what level of pay were you hoping to get <coughs> um, um, minimum minimum weight well, this is your lucky day. If you survive, if you live and don't go <laughs> splat, we will give you $250,000. <laughs> However, if you die and go splat, we will give your family Two million dollars, <laughs> because the ratings will be better. Right. Yeah, sounds great. But we don't want you to go splat. Right. Yeah, because because we want do you to do it again next year. Yes. Yeah, we want this to be a permanent job. If you're okay for jumping out of things that go very high. Perfect. Excellent. Thank you for this opportunity. Well, you've got the job. Thank you. Oh, thank you. And by the way, the Rolling Stones starring Christian will be playing on Monday as you take off. So this will make this a lot of fun. Okay, guys. Um, what, what time is it? 9.40. 9.40. Daniela, do you have a different time? Yeah, I have a different time. I think it's time to play a game. Yes, it's game time. <laughs> what type of game should we play, Daniela? Hangman. Hangman. Okay. While I set up the board, Daniela, could you explain to the class what the game Hangman is about and how we play it? Simon has a secret word, and we get we need to guess this word by guessing letter, letter by letter, and we need to say to use the formal question, "Can I have the letter?" And you choose, you can choose a letter, and if we are wrong, Simon starts drawing a um, stick. Stick is his friend, is like a doll, and he draws a, a head and adds an element in each wrong. Actually, like le like. there's only one thing you got wrong, Daniela. It's not stick. He's my no, no. friend, and it's sticky. Sticky. Oh, sorry. Sticky. Sticky. I don't want sticky to get hung. Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh, let me just see. What? Oh, that's not correct. That looks like one word. <clears throat> now, I'm also going to let people who are in the lobby play as well. 
Let me just get everything ready here because sometimes I don't always write down every letter. I don't always do what I should do. Okay. So since Daniela's played before, I'm going to ask Daniela to go first. You must ask in the form of a question. So you must say, can I have the letter? Daniela, could you demonstrate for us, please? Before that, could you move a little bit down your screen? Like this? <laughs> no, 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 too no. Much. Uh, that? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, please. Oh, like this. Perfect. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. The effects are ready. Uh, Danielle's going to start us off. Can I have the letter A? A, a wise choice. Let's see, there's one there. And there's one here. Now, Danielle, could you do me a favor? I need somebody to man the sound effects. Oh, I'll try because, you know, my hangout is not so good. So. <laughs> <laughs> it, I'm sure it'll be fine. It works. Okay, so next is Hashem. Yes, hello. Hello, sir. Hello, It is your turn. What? We're playing hangman. You must guess the phrase, well, in this case, a sentence, by asking, can I have the letter? In this case, A, Daniela asked. If it's wrong, I start hanging a guy here. We don't want to do that. So, what letter would you like? A. Well, A's been taken. Can you pick a different one? Yes, we already have A, so can you pick a different one, please? O. O. Okay, O, very good. Can I have the letter O? And there is one O. Excellent. All right. Jose. Hi. And... <laughs> Can I have the letter E? E for oh. echo? Suspense music, please, Daniela. E. E. Is that good? Only one. No, there's more. Very well done. There are three E's. Oh, oh, thank you. <laughs> Miguel, it's your turn. Oh, a D. I see Miguel Ooh. wanted a D. Is that still true? Um, yep. Are you sure? Mm, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Music, please. Oh. 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 <laughs> no D, unfortunately. Uh, super Spy, Neural. Um, can I have letter S? Oh. No. Yeah. Yes. Oh my God. Oh, so many S's. <laughs> oh, okay, thanks. Very well done. There are four S's in this question. Hmm. Rodrigo. Okay. Can I have the letter F? The letter F. Daniela, I need some really suspenseful music. It's above the gong. Sadly, there is no F. Now, there was somebody in the in the uh, lobby that asked for the letter T. Oh, 
I like the letter T most times. <clears throat> now, I want you guys to get a hint here. You see a question mark. That means that this can be only one of a couple of words. So think what those letters could be there. All right. Rockstar Christian, it's your turn. Okay. Uh, can I have the letter H? The letter H? Yes. That's a very, very good guess. I don't know what that word could be, but I think H is an excellent letter to guess. All right. Cristobal. Yes, sir. Sorry, Crispo, I did, did you say something? I didn't hear anything. Uh, yes, Professor. Uh, you know, your connection's breaking up. Could you type for me, please? Oh, uh, sure. Sometimes we do have bad connections every now and then. T. Um, well, I could give you one, but one is already there. What do you think <coughs> you should choose next? What letter would you like? Uh, an I. I think there is one I. No, I'm kidding. There's two I's. <laughs> so, Daniela, what letter would you like? Can I have the <clears throat> letter W? Ah, W. That's a very good guess. Oh, yeah, I got it. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> Did somebody say they have it? Yeah. Who? Well, Who said I got it? Hashem yeah. isn't. Yeah, I said. I don't know about you. Well, let's... It's a good place to host it. Okay. Home. Neural, I will get to your oh. turn, but let me see. Somebody else in the lobby said a K. Mary Louise oh. asked for a K. What do you guys think? Should we go with a K? <laughs> oh, Big yeah. K. Very good. So, Hesham, what letter would you like? Um. A C. There are lots of good hints in the chat area. You guys should be looking. Nudge, nudge, wink, wink. Professor. Yes. What is your bigger, uh, biggest weaknesses? Oh, I don't know. I, I think maybe I work too much, or um, um, I like fast cars. Um, why? Why do you ask? <laughs> <laughs> Very well done, guys. Very well done. We have we have about ten minutes left. We have time for another game. What game do you want to play this time? Twenty questions, maybe. Twenty questions. Okay. All right. I've got something here. No one could ever guess this, especially Daniela. <laughs> so you must ask me questions. It is something. It's one of two million words in the English language. This shouldn't take us very long. What do you want to do before you die? Well, we'll get to that shortly. What I just want everybody to know is, Think of vague questions such as, is it big, is it small, is it on earth, is it not? And we'll take turns. Those in the lobby can ask as well. I'll start with Christian. Okay. Is it... Uh, is it small? 
No, it is not small. It's very big. Bye, Neural. I hope you can join me again. Or join us again. Cristobal. Yes, Professor. So, it's very big. What do you think it could be? Uh, maybe um, an airplane? No, it's much bigger than an airplane. Daniela. It's related to our class today? No, it is not related to our class today. Good question, though. Hassan. Yeah, what do you think it might be? Please, please try, try. I can't understand you. My English is very bad. Okay, well, let me give you a question. Um, is it a country would be a good question. And no, it is not a country. It is bigger. Jose. Okay. Is this an ocean? It's bigger than an ocean. It is on a planet. It is not a planet, but it's close to one. It is a galaxy. It is, it is smaller than a galaxy. Is it, the moon? Sun? it is the moon. How did you guess it so quickly? <laughs> Very well done. Oh, by the way, guys, since this is a beginner class, I forgot to tell you a few things. Um, you all know these are free classes, but I wanted to show you something. Welcome, Sela. It's been a long time. So what I want to show you is a couple of things. One, if you go to our website, colingo.com, and I'll give you the link. If you go to teachers, you can see everybody that teaches. Yes. If you like my classes, come down here. Well, you can click follow if you want to follow me, for example. But if you want to see my classes that are coming up, come in here. It'll tell you when they start. These are all in the next couple of days, but if it was today, it would tell you how many hours away. These are my previous five classes. You can also do it with others. Also, we have a Facebook page. Oh, this is not it. Let me just go over and get the Facebook page. I have two Facebook accounts, and this is not the one you want. Hmm. So it's called Talk to an American. And if you become a member, you'll be able to talk to other students or teachers. Uh, we'll send out reminders of upcoming classes. So I recommend joining. There's no cost to any of you for any of this. Okay. I also want to say that we're teaching classes all day long, 24 hours a day. Generally, I teach in the evening because I'm on the east coast of North America. Do you guys have any questions for me? Christian, do you have any questions? Anything you would like to know? No, nothing. Oh, yes. Okay. What part of the east coast are you from? I'm close to the city Toronto, which is close to Buffalo, New York. I'm on uh, in a province called Ontario in Canada. Where Canada. it is very yeah, it's very cold right now. It is what temperature is it? It's 34 degrees. Or 1 Celsius. Oh, 1 Celsius. Oof. Yeah. Yeah. Really cold. Very cold. And you're just wearing a t-shirt. <laughs> oh no, no. I'm wearing two levels of clothes. There's a t-shirt and then this is a thick long sleeve shirt. Oh, right. <laughs> Even though it's, you need much more. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> yes. <laughs> if I go outside, I do need much more. I so. admire you. <laughs> yeah, for my cra I don't know why I'm here. Six months of winter. Ooh, really in cold. Brazil or Colombia, you have two seasons. Right. Right, that's the dry right. Dry season and the wet, wet season. season. In Canada, we have two seasons. Winter and two months of summer. Ooh. Only two months? Yeah, two months. So, winter lasts six months. We have two months of plant life dying. And two months of plants growing. We call that spring and fall. But essentially winter, we can have snow falling for six months of the year. I yeah. would die in Canada. Yeah. For y sure. Y yeah, I would die. <laughs> Depressed. <laughs> but in the summer, it can get up to 40 C. Ooh. What? Yeah. Really hot. <laughs> Uh, usually it averages, it doesn't get much more where I live between around 33C to 35C in the summer. And in the winter it can get down to minus 40, but rarely ever does. It's usually about minus 25 to minus 5. Yeah, th that's not fair. That's, that you're just rubbing that in. <laughs> Thanks. Professor, in what, in what places of your country they have four seasons? Probably the west coast, Vancouver. No, it just rains all year round. Uh, we really don't. Thank you, Miguel. Thank you for showing up. Uh, we, if you go to the west coast, it rains all the time. Uh, Canada does have a summer, but it's usually very short. Winter is very long. It gets dark around 4.30 in the winter. But in the summer, it doesn't get completely dark till 10 o'clock at night. But guys, I want to say thanks very much for showing up. I hope I can see you in my other classes. Daniela, thanks for some of the ideas. It's been a very, very fun class. Thank you. I hope to see all of you again. And thank you for those in the lobby who participated as well. OK, thank you, Simon. Thank you guys, so I hope to see you friends? soon. Bye. Bye, teacher. Bye, Bye guys. guys. Bye. You're welcome, Amelia.